A booming property market snakes through Noosa's waterways, but beneath the sparkling surface, a different population is dwindling. Up until the early 1900s, the oysters were prevalent, but in the last 100 years or so, they've been pretty much completely gone. A national project is bolstering oyster numbers, adding them to new man-made reefs across local waterways. Now we do the hatchery side of it here, producing the baby oysters with Noosa broodstock going back to Noosa uh, to replenish and restart oyster reefs in the ecosystem. Oysters are spawned at Bribey Island. You can just see some of the, the larvae. Scientists then add the babies to recycled shells collected from local businesses. Probably about 20 to 40 dozen oysters collected per day here at the Yacht Club um, and up to 30 dozen, 40 dozen per day on the weekends. They normally go in the bin, they go, they go into landfills, so this is a, a really good way to recycle. 41 bags of oysters are being put into this man-made reef behind me. It's the first load of many building back the population in this river. It's one of 13 locations across Australia where the Nature Conservancy will work to bring natural shellfish reefs back from the brink of extinction. The oysters are our ecosystem engineers. They form the basis of the oyster reef ecosystem. They are the food uh, for a range of fish species and they'll also bring a number of other species in to live in the reef as well. Improving the river for users and the life that lives within. Meg Bolton, ABC News, Noosa.